Good morning from Lake Lincoln State Park. It's a, we're on day seven of our sourdough starter. Um, we had a camping trip planned when we decided to do this video series, and so we brought our starter with us. And so now it's time to feed it. I'm gonna feed a fourth of a cup of water. And somebody had the question, you know, do you, can you uh, just keep feeding it because they wanted to make more starter? And the answer to that question is yes, you can. Um, actually, with this much starter, you could be feeding it a whole half a cup or even a whole cup at a time. You, what you want, while we're starting with a small amount is because we wanted to give it time to sour and before it made a large amount because whenever, if we would have started with one cup of flour, one cup of water, half a cup of sugar, we would have been needing to throw some out before it soured or, or do something with it before it soured. And so, well, we've taken our time. We started with a smaller amount. Now it, it's seven days and it's starting to smell a little soured and it's starting to work. So mine actually is not working great. I think it's my flour. Um, earlier this year when I was working on my starter for my farmer's market, I actually bought some better flour. So this is a very cheap flour, so it's really not working great. We'll see how the bread turns out. I don't know. This may be some that we need to throw some yeast in. I don't know. But anyway, oh, I don't know. Just good. to clarify, okay. it's not bad. It just may need to kick start or something. Right, no, it does it's not smelling it's not having the good soured smell like it should. And it is active to a certain extent. It's just not as active as I'd like to see it. I'll show you what I mean when I show you the iron corn. And I should have showed you this one. It's just not as active. We're feeding this, uh, this is day seven. We're feeding it this early in the morning because we're going to actually make bread this evening. At five o'clock central, join us for our live show on YouTube and we will be making up uh, our sourdough dough. And we will actually put it in loaves Monday morning and be baking sometime Monday. I can't say what time. We just have to let it rise and see what happens. See what time. Are we going to go live Monday morning? Yeah, we'll be live Monday morning. Uh, we need to set that time too. Yeah, we'll eighth, an eighth of, uh, eighth of a cup of sugar. We'll decide on the time and let you know Tonight, this evening yeah. during our normal Sunday live show at 5 p.m. Central. Okay, now that one's done. Let me take a moment to say this before I forget. To uh, Let me say something to our viewer, C. Manina, who has had difficulty. Uh, we can't reply to your comments. And um, she posted this morning and was able to reply to herself. Okay. I say this morning. I saw it this morning. Yay, figured out the reply thing. Well, I got bad news. <laughs> you were able to reply to yourself, but I still can't reply to you or like your comments. And well, she so, wasn't really replying to herself. She was just... No, she did reply to herself. She replied she was... to her comment. And, uh, well, yeah, but I'm saying, I mean, she wasn't talking to herself. She was talking to us. She was talking to us, but she was <laughs> able to comment. reply to her comment. Yeah. And I can't do that uh, still. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. And she pointed out something about raisins that we'll mention. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that we cover that. Uh, we're going to be making uh, cinnamon bread with uh, one, of the lo one of the loaves that we're doing. Uh, Monday morning and I explained it well you sprinkle cinnamon on there in case I forget I hope I remember you sprinkle cinnamon on it and at that time you would put raisins too to make a raisin cinnamon bread here is my uh, einkorn it's doing very well hopefully my little thing won't tear I had a tear so I just moved it over so it worked fine um, and here at this campground we have a lot of those little sugar ants they haven't made it inside yet last time we we're here they got inside but we sprayed so but uh, I was being, I've been very watchful of my starter to make sure because I certainly wouldn't want it to get ruined with little sugar ants. And I'm just going to stir this up. And this is your first video. You know, there. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's, there is a very practical reason she's using the handle of that spoon. Yes. <laughs> It's because, because the other end won't fit. fit. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't want me to whittle it with my pocket knife. Yeah. I didn't switch this over to a wide mouth jar. I should have. It would be easier. Okay, we're going to add our fourth of a cup of water. And fourth cup of flour. 
And remember, it's 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern. And we're going to be making up the dough at the beginning of the show. So I guess we'll have a few minutes. And um, also, Tommy has put the recipe at the um, bottom of yesterday's uh, video and the day before. Will it be on the bottom of It'll today's? It'll be on the bottom of this It'll one. It'll be on the bottom of this yeah. one, too. So you can look at the recipe, see everything you're going to need. Um, also, you'll want to get some kind of bowl or something that's not metal. Uh, I like to use dish pans um, because we'll be you. How many cups of flour is in that recipe? Do you remember? I don't remember. Because see, I usually do it. I usually make a huge amount for the farmers market, so I can't remember what's in the the normal amount. Um, but anyway, um, it's going to need to be a large bowl. We're going to be letting it rise so it's doubled in size. So, all right, I've got my water, got my flour, and I'll put my sugar, eighth of a cup of sugar. <coughs> And you know, after we get do, done making the bread, it's up to you. You can keep feeding it a little at a time. And you know, in a few days when you get enough starter, make more bread. Or you can put it in the refrigerator and let it go to sleep until you're ready to get it out and activate it and start making bread again. So, okay, now this is the iron corn. It's done. I like to wipe the top of my jar. I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again in case it's your first time. Wipe the top of the jar where your coffee filter, and this is just a coffee filter, won't stick to it. That's what happened here. I must have forgot to wipe it. Or, you know, maybe in the transport it got a little splashed on there too because we did have to transport this with us camping. So, anyway, that's our uh, white sourdough starter and our wheat sourdough starter. So, I hope you can join us uh, this evening at 5 o'clock. Let me, um, <clears throat> Patty, I forgot to mention this to you this morning. Billy Branch, I think it was, mm -hmm. was a little concerned about her starter. It was, it's alive, yeah. but it wasn't. It's kind of a similar issue to your white, except yeah. it was pastier. So my question is, if she wants to uh, jumpstart it, mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't have to. Billy Branch, If you, when you're watching this, I'm not saying do this, but if you wanted to uh, give it a little boost, how much yeast or whatever, what would you recommend that she do? If she's about, well, to start this one at the very bottom, we, we did a fourth of a teaspoon, and that's what I would still do, a fourth of a teaspoon, especially if you start planning on uh, making the bread. And uh, also, um, we'll do some, um, we'll, I'll also talk about when you can add yeast to this. If you wanted to do yeast, uh, where you can still let it rise all night, but you could bake it sooner the next day. I won't be doing that with my iron corn. I want this to be a true sourdough, which of course I did jump start my starter, but I, do, I want to let this, the, uh, the natural yeast do the rising of it uh, because it's going to be more fermented and for my health issues I think that would be best for me. So, Anyway, anything else Tommy? Well, we can um, maybe talk about it this afternoon, but had a, we got an email uh, from, um, I think it was Jan who uh, mentioned a method that she uses to trap wild yeast. Yeah, some things she tried. She said she don't know if that's what happened or not, but she used some, you know, she she poked a few holes in her coffee filter, um, I believe on her starter to maybe let more some more wild yeast get in. And also she kind of left her flour out like in coffee filters, and that may have been what she poked holes in too, just to try and encourage more wild yeast. But she may not have watched the show either, where they talked about using different fruit juices. Somebody right yeah. now is using uh, pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. We've, they've talked about uh, soaking fruit and using the water that the fruit was soaked in, because fruit will have natural yeast. Somebody's also using beer, because, you know, uh, I guess it's a brewer's yeast that you use to make beer, so it is it has a yeast in it too. So anyway, there's lots of different uh, varieties that people are using, and it's so interesting to hear what different people are trying and to see how successful it is. In fact, I would like to hear, I can't remember the name that's doing the beer, but I'd Grizzly. love... Grizzly. I'd love for him to give, me a, give us an update and even a picture that we could show y'all. Yep. So yep. anyway... We'll see y'all this evening at 5 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. Last word, speaking of picture, Jan was trying to get us some pictures and yeah. didn't know how. Yeah. So you can email them to us. Just say, email them to bread at aldermanfarms.net. Bread at aldermanfarms.net if you have some pictures you'd like us to see. All right? See have you this evening. Day. Bye.